Hey Capricorn, sorry that my camera cut out. I think something happened with the memory card or something and it did a little glitchy thing. Um, instead of redoing the whole reading because we pulled all the cards already, I'm just going to add this as a part two. Um, we're just going to wrap up the last few cards and then we are all good. So I believe when it cut out we were still talking about this guy, this four of coins, four of pentacles, which you already got in the form of the four of earth. So again, it's just this um, kind of holding back as far as like finances, resources, you know, your, your possessions, all these material things, you're kind of holding back a little bit, um, and not in a, not in a bad way. I think you're just kind of, in, it's almost kind of going in like save mode, either that, or you've been putting so much energy into, especially these projects as the month develops. I think you'll be putting a lot of work here. So I think either you're having to put resources into that. So you're, you're being really diligent and protective of what you do have because you want to make sure you have enough to fuel into this project you know or you're just because of the energy output here you're just holding back in this area so not a bad thing at all i think it's actually kind of smart and wise and you know it's just creating a little more balance um four is also a really stable number and then last card out three of wands this is huge. So we already talked about the trust card, which you got earlier. This, again, and I, I believe I talked about it as divine trust. This is divine trust. This is trusting and having faith that what you asked for is coming. You know, in this card, you can see it. Here's this ship coming out of the sky, coming straight towards you. This is the delivery you've been waiting for. So it's having the faith that it's coming. I almost want to say that this doesn't really have anything to do with whatever this project is. You know, like this may be work focused and this is romantic or, you know, vice versa. I think these are two separate things. I think this is what is set up for you to actually do. And I think it's on purpose. I think it gets you, it gets you focused on this, on doing, on the active portion of this task to kind of allow the universe to finish up and take over this and then send it to you instead of you like sitting like this energy, like hoping and praying and sitting there, which, cause you almost look, these figures are almost in the same position, both looking up, both sitting, you know, knees up and kind of in this, this position of waiting. This person is really focused on the waiting and, and the time spent and what's been lost and everything. This person is waiting, but they know it's coming. So they're okay. I think the reason this project is the way it is, is to get you know, you're a very hardworking sign, you want to be active, you want to be doing something. This is the thing to do while you wait on the universe to send you this. So I think, not saying that this isn't worthy and it's, it's not just a distraction, but it's something hands-on you can start putting energy into instead of sitting and waiting on this. Because this is going to come. Don't worry about it. Exercise the chest. But, oh, you guys... I feel like this is going to be a very big month for you because I feel like the energies in these cards are all over, like all over. I think the biggest thing is this reignition, but this new like flame, this new inner fire that comes up from you, like starts all these little mini fires everywhere else. Like I think so many aspects of your life are being affected and altered and heightened this month. Like there's so much going on for you, Cap in a beautiful, beautiful way. So I think this month may be a little crazy for you. <laughs> I'm just saying, you may have a lot to do. Um, I almost feel like you may kind of be pulled in a couple directions or have your focus on a couple things. This thing should be your main. If this becomes one of your focuses, I would say kind of allow that one to go in the back burner. If you need a break, let, you know, if you, like, oh, I got like six things on my plate, I only have room for five. This is the one you'd be like, okay, I'm gonna exercise some trust. Divine, you take care of this. I Here's the things I can physically work on, physically do. That's what I'm going to focus on. These things that are, are still coming, let them come. Don't worry about them. You got, you're going to have a lot on your, a lot on your plate this month, Cap. Oh, all right. Okay, so we're going to wrap up there. Thank you again for being understanding. I'm sorry you have a little funky two-parter going on, but know that it's going to be good. Actually. I keep looking at the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck, you have the Palace of Coins, the Star card under there. You also have the Four of Wands. So solid foundations, hope, optimism, and a place of prosperity and abundance. You are heading in a very positive 
direction. Big thing here is this star card, hope. Stay hopeful. This is also the card for Aquarius, so you may have an Aquarius, someone in your life that's helping you along. Beautiful energy, really, really positive, lots and lots of growth for you. Um, you are climbing that mountain right now, Capricorn. Awesome, awesome job. Um, as always, sending you guys lots of love. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Just helps the channel to grow. Um, and then as always, I love hearing from you. Um, if you have any thoughts you want to share, especially if you have questions for me, you can put that all in the comment section below. Um, as well as you can DM me on, on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. And if you want to book a private session with me, all that info will be in the description box downstairs or down below. Oh, I've been watching way too much Sorted. Just called it downstairs. <laughs> but it'll all be in the description box. All right, Cap, sending you out. Have an amazing February. Again, happy Chinese New Year. Happy um, Valentine's Day, which is coming up. And I will see you next month. Bye.